What if I told you that you could not only make a faceless YouTube channel, but now you can have a completely faceless stream where there is an avatar or something, right? Let, let me let me show you. What if you could have something like this or like this, maybe even like this? Let's be honest, this is what you want. All right, enough teasing you. Let me show you how to make it happen. Does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels and I'm your content cleric. Around here we make videos just like this to help you level up your stream using all the wild and, and cool technologies that the internet has to offer. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you sub to this channel and follow me over on Twitch. I stream multiple days a week, pretty late at night. So come hang out with me sometime. With that said, enough promo, let's get into the video. Our very first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up expressioncamera.com. I have it linked down below, don't you worry. But hey, by the way, if you check down there, I got you a little, I got you a present too. Listen, I was thinking of you last night and I put you a present down there. There's a 45 day free trial of Canva Pro for just for you to check out. If you want to see how to use it and learn some cool stuff, watch my other videos. You'll love it. All right. You're going to go here to expressioncamera.com. You're going to download for whatever platform you're on, Windows, Mac go through the steps, you know how to download things, right? If you don't, leave a comment down below, I'll help you through it. Uh, you have to download it, if you're like me, you'll have to restart your computer. Uh, when it comes back up, it will be ready to rock and roll. Then you're just gonna open up the app and it will look something like this, okay? So let's go ahead and, and walk through the app. It's really not a complicated app, but I'll, I'll show you how it's done. First thing you wanna do is go to your settings cog right here, choose your camera, choose your graphics card. If anything is using your camera, you're going to need to close that, whether it's Discord or OBS or anything else, close that down so your camera's not being used. Then choose it right here. And you can tell whenever I have my settings up, it's being real laggy. All right, it went real weird. I had to minimize it, reopen it. It's it's working better now. Uh, but from here, this shows you kind of the preview of what is going to be seen in your program of choice. And so if you're like me and you're using OBS, all you have to do, it makes it really, really simple. I'm just gonna drag over OBS for a second. Um, if you want to now use that image that you have in there, now you have your, your camera in, you've chose your graphics card, right? You wanna use the image, you just go to OBS, hit the little plus sign, hit a video capture and create a new one. I've just already created one uh, called expression. You can click it, right? I'll minimize this one down over here so you can still see my screen. Now over under, on expression, you actually can choose uh, under device, you'll see a new one listed that says expression camera. So now, as long as you have that chosen, you'll see uh, your expression camera in the video, right? All right, let me delete that one back out of here and move that over. Um, as you all can see, I still have the watermark. I'm not yet paying for this. However, I think I will because I can see a lot of cool use cases in D&D, &D, which if you're into D&D &D at all, come hang out with me on stream on Friday nights. We actually play every Friday night with an ongoing campaign I have going on where I'm the dungeon master. And so I can see this being really, really cool for the DM or, I mean, honestly, for the players too, if they wanted to make their character and, and have that character on the screen. You know, that's a cool idea. Anyway, that's for another time. For the rest of this video, let me show you how to do it, all right? So uh, from here, you pretty much can upload any face you want. Now there's gonna be different levels of functionality, um, like this work right here, I tried to upload. It doesn't work well, it's sort of a non-humanoid face. It'll let you you know, put the little box where its face should be, uh, and it'll do its best. It's not as good as when you have an actual humanoid like uh, this lady here, or when you have, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi, this seems to work, you know, pretty well. His face stretches a little bit. I think it's because it's an older image. Uh, and so it's really pixelated. But if I go say to this one right here, I made a mid journey. This one right here, I think works very well. Uh, and I think it helps a lot to have a more like abstract background because when you move around, you see the head actually moves uh, and, and you see her hair is cut off just a little bit. It's not perfect, but I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, and so you can go, you can find images on the internet. You can make some images in mid journey. Uh, pretty much any way that you want to do it works. There is some, as you can see, that they've actually added here. Um, some of these have worked better than others. Like this one, for some reason, works really, really well. I really want to see how these sort of like cartoonish anime ones work, but I haven't got to try it out yet. But either way, you choose, you know, the image that you want to go with. I'm going to go with this one for now. Like this one, I think would be a cool avatar. Say, um, I'm going to stream and make YouTube videos, but I never want my face to be seen. You could make an avatar in Mid Journey or hire someone, uh, an artist that you know, or someone on Fiverr and, and have a really cool avatar. And now you use expression uh, to make that your person, almost like, you know, a VTuber or PNG tuber would do. I think would be really, really cool. So, so a few things you can do here, I, I, there's some pretty cool stuff. So once you have your image, you have it kind of working, it looks good, um, then you can go here to backgrounds. Now, 
The backgrounds don't work great on this particular image, but if you had an image that, you know, maybe they were a little bit more separated from the background, uh, it would work, but let me just show you real quick. Okay, so as you can see, this is actually, it's not too bad, but you can see around the edges, it's, um, you know, it's not there. So uh, you, you can see around the edges that you can kind of see where it didn't cut out well and stuff. So, I mean, it works okay, but not perfect. You can also put in your own background image, which is great. Um, I'll tell you what I would do myself. Um, I would probably put in a green screen uh, as the background image and then uh, chroma key the background out in um, over in OBS. And then I don't have a background and then my, my avatar can just be sitting on top of, you know, my gameplay or whatever it is. So either way, you can do it however you want. You could actually put your actual office backdrop behind if you want to. Uh, so that part's completely up to you. I'm gonna go no image for now. And you'll see it's gonna take it just a minute. It's gonna, it's real slow when you make changes. Uh, I'll probably cut out most of the changes, but just so you know, if it's really slow for you, it was really slow for me too. Um, okay, so there we go, you can do that. The next thing you can do is over here under animations. I think this is where it'd be really cool to use this stuff in stream. Like say someone in your chat said something funny. Just like that, you can make your, your avatar laugh out loud. I think is really good. You make him nod. Just like that, it can be kind of a repetitive expression. You can uh, come right here to do how you say someone in your chat. They tell you that it's their birthday. My my people, uh, my my community love to come in, tell me it's their birthday, and so you could. I mean, I just I think that is so cool. I don't know. Maybe I'm just easily impressed. Uh, but then you also have. I just, I don't know. I don't even know what to say other than I love it, right? Uh, anyway, I can see so many ways to use this with your animations, your faces, uh, just all the cool stuff that you can do with this. And if you guys decide to use it for something, make sure you join my Discord. I'll have a link down below. Make sure you join, post over in the share your art section, uh, what you've made. I love to see what you guys make with these tutorials. Uh, also, if you have any ideas or anything you want to learn that I haven't yet made a video on, or even if I have and you want some clarification, leave a comment down below with what that idea is. Um, I take your guys' uh, ideas into account when I make these videos. And, and so definitely, if you have some suggestions or questions, leave them down below and I'll do my best to get to them uh, and I try to make videos on all the requests that you guys have so if you have one post it so I know to make a video on it all right guys if you haven't already subscribe to this channel so you don't miss another video and yeah you hit the bell for the notifications you're supposed to do that too uh, but also follow me over on twitch all right guys appreciate you I'll see you in the next one